Under a 1988 agreement between South Africa and Botswana officials, Mulatedi Dam supplied up to 16% of the Greater Gaborone region's daily water requirements. This supply is cut by half whenever the dam's water level falls below 26%. Most recent official update indicates that the dam is now at a mere 8%. The water scarcity problem has also affected the locals here. This river receives water straight from Mulatedi Dam. I mean, every few weeks they used to open the drift and uh, the dam and then the water would flow here and it would look like a proper river. And you know, unfortunately, yeah, we haven't had for the last three years what we will say a substantial amount of rain. We've had very limited rain. And that has caused the current situation where we are now, where we have a very low water table. Botswana is in the grips of an acute water shortage, and this has a direct effect on the residents. And the situation back home is so worse that uh, we depend mostly on the people who own private boreholes. You, you can imagine plants, we need to water plants, gardens and the like and there's no rainfall, there's no water in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the storages. The water supply agreement between South Africa and Botswana is due to be reviewed this month. South Africa's officials are already looking at alternatives as means of finding other solutions. We need to introduce new methods of water storage so that then the dams that are running dry are not only the only source uh, that keeps the water, but we need to look at other innovative solutions that deal with, uh, with water storages. Um, amongst those, uh, it's about uh, increasing the capacity of our reservoirs, expanding the pipelines and extending the pipelines from where they've been. Why in discussion between ourselves, uh, our colleagues from Botswana and Lesotho, in seeing how best we can also maximize the opportunities that come from the Lesotho Highlands project. The minister would not be drawn into more details. The Department of Water Affairs paints a bleak picture for this country. Departmental officials say over the past two years, this country has received less than the world average in terms of rainfall. They believe that the dry spell is likely to continue for a while. Yulisan Jamela for CCTV at Mulatedi Dam in the northwest South Africa.